Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing my plan with me for the week of April 2nd through April 8th and this week is actually my spring break week, which is super exciting. Yay, spring break, finally made it. This means we are just getting closer to the end of the school year and I have a really gorgeous kit to use today that I'm really excited about. This is called Countryside Spring from Toffee Bananas and Zen is the owner of Toffee Bananas and she was so sweet and um, offered to send me this to try out because she had like reformatted all of her kits. Um, I did use one of her kits previously back in July and the format was definitely very different and I really really love the reformat and what she's done so let's go ahead and go through all the pages really quickly I think this is a really full version of the kit but I know there are other options um, on her website so anyways here are the full boxes and we've got some hearts here at the bottom on this page, we have lots of script stickers, the date dots, we have really pretty headers, and then more like plain colored headers. Here we have the bottom washi, the washi strips, and the date covers. On this page, we have half boxes, both with the rounded corners as well as like the sharp corners. We have quarter boxes, scallops, and then some appointment labels at the bottom. Here we have some half scallops at the top. We've got flags of different sizes and shapes. We've got the heart checklist and then a uh, flag. I think these are to go in the top corners. Oh, I think I missed a page, yes. On this page, we have all the icons, movie marquees, laptops, and then lots of really cute doodles at the bottom. Here are the ombre heart checklists. We have weekend banner, which is so gorgeous with the succulents in the back. We have some like circle icons. We've got sidebar tracker things, three heart checklists, and then these mini um, half boxes. And oh, also the paper clip bows in the center. Uh, this page is just a deco, which is so beautiful. I love every single one of these little pieces. And then this last sheet has the glitter headers as well as the little things. So it's definitely a very full kit and I'm gonna try to just use as much as I can from this kit. Usually I pull in lots of stickers from different shops, but because this kit comes with so much, I'm gonna try to do, um, or I'm just gonna try to use as much as possible. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start by placing down my bottom washi as usual. And then I'm going to uh, build the spread from there. This week's going to be a little different. It's going to be a plan as I go style because I don't have work. I have nothing to pre-plan. So I'm just going to plan each day as I go along. Like I mentioned earlier, I start by placing down the bottom washi and then I move into my sidebar. So for this week, there was no quote box and I just decided to choose the um, floral heart as my top corner box. Originally, I put down a strip of the glitter header and then I used the sidebar tracker to track my workout. I think I only did yoga on Sunday this week, so it wasn't very productive, but at least I got in one workout. I then decided I didn't want the glitter header, so I removed that. Um, under the habit tracker, I put down a flat the happy moment sticker is from paper and milk and then I used a um, heart checklist to track some happy moments from the week and I definitely had a lot this week because um, I didn't have work and so I had a lot of fun things going on I then decided to shift everything and put the dinners in the center um, so I put down the dinners header with a Monday through Sunday box and then I put down the flag with the happy moment sticker with the heart checklist at the bottom I placed a few pieces of deco at the bottom and then I move on to placing down my date covers. I again wanted to use as much of this kit as possible so I'm using the date covers that came in the kit as well as the date dots. When I got to Sunday, I put down one of the flags to cover the flag on my Erin Condren planner because I do like to place down the flag before I put the date cover over it. And I know some people do it the other way, but I've just always preferred it like this. So moving on to Monday, I started by placing down the glitter header that I had lifted up from the sidebar. And then I used a half box with a plain sticker from Very Cute Designs because I wanted to mark that um, Monday morning bright and early. I picked up my parents from the airport. They were coming to visit for a couple weeks and it was really good to see them because I hadn't seen them since last summer, so that was really exciting. And then uh, for their first meal, they wanted to get Lee's Sandwich, which is like a Vietnamese sandwich place, and so I put that on a scallop, and then I used those little arrow stickers that came in the kit. 
Next, I put down a quarter box and I used the important text sticker in the box. And I found these really cute gold foil bow checklist stickers from White Deer Stationery. So I decided to use those on Monday because I really wanted to pull in gold foil as much as I could this week. And one of the to do's that I put on my checklist was that we had to go to the DMV. And that process was just a nightmare as usual. It took, I think, all about five hours of waiting. And so I put this really defeated girl sticker from Artbox Sticker and she just like perfectly summed up how we felt anyways underneath that I put down the full box at the bottom I used a half box in between or like in that empty space and then I used a family time sticker that I had left over from another kit with a um, heart sticker from clever gal crafts to mark that we got dinner and that was uh, my parents first dinner in town we always go and get Korean barbecue because it's so good and then the utensil sticker is from lemon paper co which unfortunately I just recently Recently discovered that she is no longer open. Moving to Tuesday, I started with a today header at the top. I used a flag with a sleep in sticker that came in the kit, and I think that doodle is so adorable. Um, underneath that, I placed down a half box, and then I used a burrito sticker from Plans with Finesse to mark that we got Chipotle for lunch that day. Um, I used a full box underneath that because I think we didn't do very much that day. We just kind of like hung out and relaxed. Um, I filled in a a few things in my sidebar and then I put down a flag with a film sticker from I think that's from Echo Hui Craft Co. Then my boyfriend and I decided to go get some beer so I put down a quarter box and the beer girl sticker is from Kina Prince. It's so cute and then at the very bottom I used one of those scallop labels and on top of that I stuck a grocery icon to mark that we did groceries and then my parents and my boyfriend and I played Mahjong which is like so fun. I love playing that with my family. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of it but it's like a Chinese tile game and um, it comes in like this huge set and I've heard it's kind of like Jin Rummy but I've never played that so I don't know um, exactly how similar it is but it's really fun and anyways that's it for Tuesday then for Wednesday I started by placing a full box at the top and it's the girl who's holding a flower in front of her face and then underneath that I put a flag with a laptop sticker because I just kind of did a YouTube binge that morning I then used an appointment label with a gold foil dollar sign icon and that is from Planning World because I did have to go visit my accountant and just kind of figure some things out for taxes and I think at this point it was like a couple weeks before tax day so um, I was definitely still sorting that out and then my boyfriend and I decided to go watch a movie. We watched Isle of Dogs which was so funny. We do love Wes Anderson movies so that was a treat. Um, at the very very end of the spread I do switch out the movie marquee because I wanted to use the the pink one instead. After we watched the movie, we went and got some ramen as our date night. So I placed that on a half box. The date night text sticker came in the kit and then the noodle sticker is from a happy blue tree. At the end of the night, we met up with some friends and we went to trivia night at this bar. Um, so to mark that, I placed down a beer sticker and that is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I fill in some things in my sidebar like my dinners and um, adding to my happy moments and then I move on to Thursday. On Thursday, I start by placing down a quarter box and the watch sticker is a deco piece from the kit. And then my family and I did a road trip up to um, the Bay Area. So it was about a seven hour drive north. Um, that road trip sticker is from Hello Petite Paper. It's so cute. And on the way, we stopped to get some McDonald's. So I used the fast food sticker that is a doodle from the kit. Again, I really tried to pull in as many doodles as I could. And so um, I definitely wanted to use that when I had the opportunity. When we got to Berkeley, we had some beer and then dinner. So I put that on a half box and that half box is so cute because it has the bunny holding the rose. Um, I placed a full box at the end of the day and then in between where there's empty space, I put down a social header and then I cut up a hard checklist into two. And then on top of that, I layered over it the gold foil bow checklist from White Deer Stationery. And I used the checklist to mark some of the places that I went out that night. I got to meet up with one of my best friends who lives up in the Bay Area. And it was so good to see her and her boyfriend. And then I did have an extra um, bow left over from the checklist because they come in threes. And so I just decided to stick that in the hair of the girl on Wednesday. And I just thought that was like a cute little decoration for her. 
Moving on to Friday, so I started originally by placing down a today header, and then I used a scallop label to mark that it was a rainy day. Unfortunately, the only full day that we were there, it was raining the entire time, but it was okay. We just kind of relaxed at home um, with my sister and everything, so I used a flag, and the heart icon is from Clever Gal Crafts. I put down a glitter header and then used the full box with the girl with the pink hair. She's so cute. And then underneath that, I used a scallop label to mark that we got boba at one of our favorite boba places called Asha. Um, the boba sticker is from Paper and Milk. Underneath that, I put down a Korean tofu soup sticker from um, Plants with the Nest because we did get Korean food that night. And then um, I started to put down this half box to mark the rest of our night, but realized that I was having a hard time fitting everything in. So now I go up and I just basically, I took out the today header at the top and I'm just shifting everything up by a little bit so that I have enough space to mark the things that I want. I also removed the glitter header because I just realized I don't really need it and it was taking up room that I didn't really have. To mark our dinner, I ended up putting that on a quarter box and I replaced the tofu soup sticker. I shifted things around to make sure that it fit nicely and then I put down a half box with a drinks sticker from Paper and Milk, which was really, really appropriate because I got to meet Denise that night, which was really exciting. My boyfriend and I actually didn't have a car at this time and so Denise and her boyfriend actually came to pick us up and we all went to a bar together, um, which was really fun. It was this cool little place and we just kind of chatted and got to know each other over some beers so that was really really lovely and to mark that I used a Clever Gal Crafts bow sticker. Then moving to the weekend I started by placing down the weekend banner which I love so much and then for Saturday I used a scallop label with a coffee doodle from the kit to mark our breakfast. I ended up deciding to um, work backwards because I wanted to make sure I had enough space to mark everything that I wanted so at the very bottom of the day we drove home that night and so um, I wanted to mark that I was reunited with my cat Pokey and so to mark that I put it on a half box. Um, there was this really gorgeous banner sticker that was part of the deco and I just love that so much so I had to use it. I wrote home on top of that and then the cat sticker is again from Paper and Milk. I definitely try to pull in a lot of Denise's stickers as well this week since I got to meet her. On top of that, to mark our dinner when we got back to town, I used a flag with a utensil sticker from Lemon Paper Co. And then above that, I used a uh, full box because we did drive the seven hours back down, um, so that took up quite a bit of time. In the remaining space, I put down a half box. I used a music note sticker from um, Plans with Finesse. It's actually a treble clef. And then I layered that with a bow from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that we attended um, a concert that was very special. And so I definitely wanted to mark it with some gold foil. On top of the full box, I put a car sticker from Hello Petite Paper, and that is to mark our road trip home. So even though we weren't up in the Bay Area for a long time, and it just kind of flew by really quickly, I was really glad I got to spend some time there and see my sister, see my friend, and then meet Denise. Then for Sunday, I started by placing down a full box at the bottom of the day, and then back to the top, I used a flag sticker with a, originally I put down a laptop sticker, but I do end up switching that out for one of her cute um, bow paper clip stickers. Um, so I used the Me Time text sticker from the kit as well, because I just, again, wanted to use more stickers from the kit. And then um, underneath that, I used a half box to mark yoga. I went and did yoga with one of my friends, and so to mark that, I put down a workout gold foil sticker from Planning World. And then after yoga, we went and got some dim sum, which is so good, one of my favorites. And so to mark that, I used a quarter box and some soup dumpling stickers from Wonton in a Million. When I got home, I did some filming, so I used a flag, I just put it sideways like that and layered a film sticker on top of it, which is from Echo Hui Craft Co. I didn't have a lot of space remaining and so I cut up just a little bit of the full box and then I had enough space to place a quarter box with another heart sticker and that one is from White Deer Stationery and I just used that to mark that um, I just kind of relaxed for the rest of Sunday in preparation for the work week coming up and now I'm just filling out the rest of my sidebar adding in all my dinners and happy moments. I think I did a lot of the planning when I came back from my trip and so most of it actually was memory planned. 
Now I'm showing you the kit in full and I just placed down a couple pieces of deco and then I decided to, like I mentioned, um, change out the movie marquee icon because I wanted the pink one instead of the um, light gray one. So I kind of felt like there wasn't enough pink in that section, I guess. And so I rewrote Isle of Dogs and I also replaced the popcorn sticker that came in the kit. So once I'm finished with that, I put it back in my planner and now I guess I'm satisfied with how it looks. Um, and now I'm showing you the stickers that I have left. I obviously have so much left over because it's such a full kit, but um, I really love the flexibility of having so many different stickers to work with and I think it turned out really beautiful. So I love this kit so much. I love the spread and it makes me so happy because this was such a happy week where I didn't have work and I got to spend so much time with my family. So yeah, lots of positivity all around and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down below. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching as usual. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.